What's up, Barbers? Jay here from Easy Blade. Is it time to raise your prices? I think so. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, with everything going on with the recession, you know, all types of things going on in the world, it's crazy, all right? We're actually in a recession, believe it or not. People, people don't believe it. It hasn't been officially announced, but we are in a recession, guys. It's unfortunate. But with inflation, everything going on, I mean, I went to the supermarket the other day and oatmeal was about $7.99. I went to go buy oatmeal because I eat oatmeal every morning and it was $7.99. Couldn't believe it. And that's when I said to myself, we have a barbershop location out here in New York. I said to myself, okay, it's time to raise the barber pr barbershop prices because my barbers are not going to be able to live or everybody knows if you go to a grocery store nowadays you probably spend a hundred dollars and you look inside your shopping cart and you have nothing don't be afraid to raise your prices because it's time guys it's time you know haircuts are not twenty dollars anymore they're not fifteen dollars anymore and don't be afraid because a lot of people are afraid to do it because they're scared they're going to actually lose customers now the best way you're going to go ahead and raise your prices is you're going to wait until you're fully booked so if you're a barber out there that's fully 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 booked and you can't squeeze anybody in this isn't a problem. This is actually an opportunity. If you feel like you're overbooked and people are calling you all the time and you just can't seem to, you know, fit everybody in, you feel like you're working till nine o'clock at night, this is the time to actually raise your prices, okay? I don't know what you guys are charging out there. In most cities, people are charging the least $25. I mean, you still have barbershops out there that are still charging $15, $20, which is tough because, you know, we bring a service that, you know, that that, that nobody can really compare to. We, we have a, a great service. Um, we make people look good. We make people feel good. We really are a great industry. I just think that a lot of barbers don't value themselves. And I think that's the toughest thing because I've made a lot of shorts, a lot of short videos on stuff like this. You know, we actually walked around um, in the city. We walked around out here and we actually interview people and ask them you know how much would you pay for a haircut how much you pay for a haircut and the response was crazy because a lot of people thought that they would pay 15 20 dollars for a haircut and then you had the other people that said they would pay 40 50 dollars for a haircut because basically they understand the value of a barber you know and a lot of people don't so what you want to do out there is basically weed out the people that that you don't need anymore you know the people that are cheap you can weed them out by raising your prices so if you feel like you're overworking yourself this is an industry where you shouldn't feel like that you shouldn't feel like you're overworking yourself all right you should be happy every day you shouldn't go if you're going to work and you feel like you're slaving that's not good so let's come up with a strategy let's come up with a plan now again this is going to work out really good if you're already extremely booked if you're not booked it's okay you can still do this as long as you have a steady client base you're going to be able to do this so it's going to be extremely easy the first thing i want you guys to do out there if you're not already doing this you're really really missing out is to get a booking system get a booking app people should not be calling your phone anymore you shouldn't have clients calling your phone at all there shouldn't be clients calling you at 12 o'clock 12 a.m in the morning morning trying to figure out you know if, you, if you're available for a haircut now the reason why I'm saying get a booking app if you don't already have it is because people are not gonna question the price because they're gonna book it on the app it doesn't come down to the case where people are walking inside of the barbershop and they're saying how much is a haircut oh that's too much that's what's really gonna discourage you from doing that so the first thing you're gonna have to do is get a booking app next you're gonna have to tell people you don't take walk-ins I know this is hard for a lot of people but you can't take walk-ins guys you cannot take walk-ins because there's a lot of confusion when it comes time to walk Again, people are going to walk into your shop and they're going to say, oh man, it's too expensive. I can't pay that. And that's going to make you feel a certain way and you're going to end up keeping your prices the same and you're never going to grow. So you need to have appointments only. In our location, we do appointments only. And the reason why we do appointments only because there's no confusion. People call in and say, can you take somebody right now? We can't take anybody right now. You can go on the website. You can book your appointment. You know, you leave a deposit and that's how we do it. That's another thing, guys. You want to make sure that the people are leaving a deposit down on the hair because this way this confirms that you have a space available. A lot of people are scared to use booking apps and they just take walk-ins because they're scared. They don't want to give somebody an appointment and then they don't come and then you missed out on a walk-in and you missed out on an appointment now you have no money. I understand how that is. If people leave a deposit, they're going to come or they're going to cancel the appointment so they won't lose their deposit. When they cancel that appointment, you can put somebody else in that appointment. Next, after you have the app in place and you're doing appointments only, you want to go ahead and raise your prices as much as you want. I recommend at least $10, $10 to $15. This way you're not doing five dollar increments every time you're not raising it five dollars and then you're waiting for a few months and raising another five dollars that could be a mistake so you want to raise exactly what you want for your haircut raise it as much as you want right away now that you have your booking system in place oh now that you're not taking walk-ins at all and you raise your prices you want to make sure that you're giving your customers more quality service that means speak to your customers throw in a hot towel make the haircut price worth it give them the skill that you already have there's a lot of skilled barbers out there that are under under charging themselves you want to 
to make sure that you're charging exactly what you're worth as well. Now, I've seen barbers that aren't really good at cutting hair, charging a lot of money, guys, a lot of money. And this is true. This goes on in the world, guys. So don't be afraid to raise your prices. Again, Jay here from Easy Blade, shavingproducts.com. I will talk to you guys soon. If you like this video, leave a comment. Let us know exactly what you think about what I'm talking about here. Now, if you had any experiences and you feel like um, you tried to raise your prices and this happened to you or you raised your prices and you were successful, leave a comment below so this way the community can see that it's possible. You know, you want people to say, wow, this is possible. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He actually raised his prices and he's good. Or look at this guy. He had a hard time raising his prices, but then he did it. He moved his location and he did it. Like, you know, just let us know exactly what's going on with you and your barber career. I will talk to you guys soon. Again, Jay here from EasyBlade Shaving Products.com.